More businesses are likely to be able to open from the middle of June, this according to the latest government briefings, and curfew hours could be further reduced. With the state of emergency extended to the end of June, there may be good news on the horizon from the 1st of July, as there is a provisional plan to remove all lockdown and restrictions on businesses at that point, provided, of course, that the COVID numbers don't increase. Yesterday's new COVID cases were all among Thai arrivals from overseas and in quarantine, with zero tourism from outside the country. Many businesses simply won't want to open to just local markets, and predictions are that the tourism business will not return to the levels prior to COVID for upwards of two years. Export, import and manufacturing, though, will return to normal quickly, as markets and suppliers globally return to work and shipping has become easily available too. Visas to Britain will be resumed at the Trendy Building in Bangkok from the 1st of June. Non-Brits needing visas will be able to apply for them then. Visitor visas only to start with, not priority visas for settlement or migration. And it's worth noting that from June the 8th, new rules go into place for arrivals in the UK due to the epidemic there. So it's best to check with the embassy websites before booking. Thai Airways International is no longer refunding on tickets issued prior to the COVID epidemic or afterwards. This is they're now protected by a bankruptcy order, so they claim they're prohibited from issuing refunds. Those who bought tickets with credit cards should perhaps contact their card issuers, as often you have protection via the card use too. In Pitsanulok, a deranged gunman is in custody after entering a local radio station and killing three staff there with a gun and knife. It seems that he was disillusioned with their treatment of him as a part-time tech. The 59-year-old with previous mental issues has been charged with premeditated murder. He's told police that he and a senior technician had had a long-time conflict. He was the one that he went to kill, but he claimed that he killed the others so there'd be no witnesses. The station, though, as most do, had CCTV. Meanwhile at home and in Pattaya, PEA is to start digging up Pattaya South, that's Pattaya Thai, from next week, as they progress with cable burying around the city. The third of the three main roads into the city to be modified. Traffic will see delays for several months or so, as power and phone cables come down and go underground. The work will start at the Sukhumvit end and work down towards the beach. Friday morning saw heavy flooding in many areas after overnight storms, the usual suspects in the way of areas, as always, the Sukhumvit and the railway road were impassable in places for cars and only good for diesel pickups and upwards. With the reminder to avoid those areas, drivers of petrol-powered cars are more likely to see problems in floods, as their engines rely on electricity, whereas diesel simply doesn't. Good news for Kolan, as it may open to the general public again soon. Currently only open to residents, changes may be afoot as early as next week. But until beaches are open, that won't help the island businesses. Chances are, though, that beaches and swimming will be allowed in this province very soon. And with the reminder, mitts, masks and meters, wash your hands, wear a mask and keep social distancing. And the Met Office promising highs today of 31, dropping down to 27 and a very rainy day. That is the local and national news from Fab FM. For videos and, of course, to keep up with Fabulous Patia, visit alwayspatia.com.